My friend Jeff has a 2016 Chevy Volt. This is a plug-in electric hybrid vehicle. And he came to be complaining of noise coming from the driver's side rear, especially going over bumps. Well, we took it for a test drive. I confirmed that the noise was there. We pulled it out of the shop, removed the wheel, and looked at what was there. And this is what we found. We found that the puck from the backing plate had separated and it was now rolling in between the brake rotor and also the dust shield and back. And this was making his noise. But even more disturbing was the brake rotor. The brake rotor itself, well, you could see that it had not been operating for a very long time and had built up this corrosion. Further inspection revealed that the caliper was basically seized and it was no longer working. But the cause for this it was actually regenerative braking and also a little bit of neglect on my friend Jeff's part. With this system of brakes, it uses mostly the front wheels to brake the vehicle under most conditions. There are exceptions like, let's say for a panic stop where they need a lot of hydraulic pressure very quickly, or in some cases below five to seven miles an hour, what happens is the regenerative braking cannot produce enough torque to stop the vehicle, so it will use either the front or rear brakes. But for what Jeff thought was a suspension problem, it was actually a brake problem. And he never noticed because these regen vehicles use very little of the rear brakes. This produces another problem with corrosion itself because the rotor, the caliper, and also the brake pads can corrode because they never get up to temperature. And it's pretty selective when they use the regenerative braking. So you can get a rotor that looks like this when you're servicing these vehicles make sure that you're inspecting the brake system. I'm not talking through the wheel, but look at actually the pads and the back of the rotor. You may see issues with corrosion and wear of the brake pads, or in some ways you may see delamination of the brake puck. But what you need to know is use high quality parts to service these vehicles, especially ones with regenerative braking. With these, the installation process, well, you could have an issue with burnishing the brakes because you can't regen a burnish procedure, but you can on certain vehicles by going in through a scan tool or through the service menu to burnish those brake pads. Or you can use a high quality brake pad that's already been scorched to help drive out those resins and to help firm up that friction material. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.